If you are considering the Samsung Book 4 3C Pro, you have to look at this video. It might sound harsh, but this is my personal experience after using the laptop for the last couple of days. First, let's look at the screen. It's absolutely gorgeous. The brightness, the color, this is what you expect from a Samsung OLED display, to be honest. Like, I wouldn't expect anything less. I do have the Samsung S8 uh, Plus, and that's a the tablet with an amazing 15 inch, I believe, display, and it's the same. Like, it's beautiful. I think it's, uh, the tablet has a higher brightness, peak brightness, but honestly, we don't even need that when you're working on such a thing. Hey, I'm a YouTuber, so let's go to YouTube. So, hey friends, welcome back to the channel. If you need to hear about it, it's really amazing. Like for media consumption, this is a beautiful laptop. If this is what you're going after, then definitely get the, get the laptop. I love it. I have the 16 gigabytes RAM version with the Intel Arc display. And I think that's the only version though, to be honest. It could be less, but this is the pro level of the 360. The battery life is great. I didn't have to recharge it a lot. So I even left it for a few hours running without a lot of load. Like at some point I was, well, I was doing an export for a 4K video. So I would say like, yeah, that's a big load, but it can, go, it can go on for hours and hours. This I feel like this is actually a full day uh, kind of like battery. If you're using it modestly and you're not using a lot of like power intensive stuff like gaming or uh, watching a lot of movies or something. So I am pretty happy with the battery, especially with the weight and the feel of this laptop. It's very thin, it's amazing, it feels amazing. The 360 aspect of it, it's great. I love that I can use this as a tablet, but uh, which makes me sad for doing this review. You're gonna see in a few minutes why. The CPU and the GPU are that great. This is, I feel this is a very lightweight laptop. Even though it says pro in it, I don't feel like it's actually uh, good for a use case where you use power hungry or graphics hungry applications or games it's not a, uh, a laptop for a power user and it's kind of it's sad because i got it in order to do uh, some work while traveling and uh, the size is amazing it feels like it weighs less than the tablet i wanted to do some scripting uh, some video editing i want to even like play a little bit like not the hardcore games that call of duty but hey if you can run it why not um, but to be honest the 4k video editing is the main uh, use case that i got the laptop for i know it has a lot of options but this is what i cared about the most in my opinion the laptop failed my use case scenario so it cannot do really like 4k video editing because everything was so laggy i kept seeing lines across uh, the preview uh, even when i lowered the quality of the preview in adobe premiere pro i kept seeing things laggy and seeing like uh, things like uh, uh, choppy and like it was horrendous and at some point i was greeted by the blue screen of death so the laptop crashed and after rebooting it, I kept trying to work on it, but it the experience was so bad. If you play Call of Duty, imagine this. If you play some game like a first-person shooter like Call of Duty, uh, when you are playing and everything is laggy and rubber banding, and then you go to another computer or suddenly the connection improves or something happens, and you feel like you've been going in slow mode and your brain is just suffering, this is how I felt working on the Book 4 360 Pro while doing 4K video editing. Now, to give it like a proper review, I want to say it was able to do the export of the 4K video. It was around 8 or 10 minutes uh, at the end, uh, which is the unboxing video for the, the Book 4 360 Pro. It did it, but I was struggling. It took me like a day, day and a half to do the editing because uh, not because I was sitting the whole time doing that, but uh, it's just like the experience was horrible. It did end up uh, exporting video files, so okay, that's okay.
For gaming, I ran the game Stray, which is about a cute cat that runs around. It got separated from other cats, her family and friends uh, in a dystopian future and is trying to meet them again. So this is a game that I played a little bit before on PC. It's not really that much graphics hungry, but it kept rubber banding, it lagging. So it was a bad experience. I downloaded a couple of other games, but I figured, but I didn't even bother trying them because I figured if the laptop cannot run Stray, which is a really like, again, not very power intensive game, then it probably won't be able to run Tomb Raider or Call of Duty comfortably or at all, I would say. So for gaming, if you are a gamer, at least like you wanna, let's say not very like gaming, medium level or A-list gamers, forget about it, this laptop is not for you. Look at something else, maybe the Ultra, in order to play. At some point I started having issues or more issues with the graphics and I realized that when I looked into the device manager, uh, I saw that uh, there is a, a problem with the Intel Arc graphics card or graphics driver. So I tried to troubleshoot it for hours. I ended up speaking with support and support person told me at some point, did you try plugging in a different adapter? That's not like the one that came with Samsung. And that, uh, for me, that was, oh my God, wait, what? The Samsung laptop cannot throttle power from another adapter if it has a higher wattage because like that could hurt it, that could cause an issue with the hardware or something. That's crazy for me because phones have been doing that for years. Now maybe this was a level one support that didn't really know the technical aspects. Maybe they had a bad knowledge base article. I don't know, but that to me is alarming. And honestly, I didn't have the courage to try to connect another adapter, the one that has a higher power to see if that causes issues or not. That sentence on its own was alarming enough for me so to be like, okay, I guess I should be careful with the adapter. Maybe in the next few months, we will hear more from people as they test this laptop more and they post more on Reddit and they share their experience on Reddit or any other forum. Maybe we'll see that, uh, okay, this is an issue or not really. I ended up downloading an older version of the driver uh, removing the driver from the device manager and then installing the older driver to fix the issue. Here's the trick, which could save you a few hours. You gotta go to the device manager, remove the driver for the Intel Arc graphics, uh, graphics card, and then reboot. And then go again to the device manager, and if you see it there, uninstall and then reboot. You gotta do it two or three times, and then at some point you will see that the display uh, or the graphics uh, driver is actually a basic Intel graphics adapter. Uh, after that, you can install the driver that you downloaded and then you sh shouldn't face any issues with the drivers, with the driver. Yeah, that's good. So this will be a separate, <laughs> this should be a separate video what I just talked about because that was almost like four or five hours of troubleshooting, speaking with support, try going all over the internet, trying to find all the information. Uh, Somebody will be Googling this at some point and they will find a solution. So that's good enough for me. Uh, the use cases, that's not for me. If you wanna get it to work on Office, like you have some Excel, Word, PowerPoint, this kind of stuff, you wanna do ver some very, very light gaming. I'm thinking right now of Tetris. <laughs> then get it and the 360 capability is amazing if you want to go on zoom meetings on uh, teams meetings and you want to share and scribble some information it's great uh, i know that the ultra has uh, also done touch screens but i don't know how good it is with the s pen so i'm gonna have to test that when i get that laptop anyways if you that's if that's your use case go get it because it's a beautiful piece of hardware it's so light it's it's sleek it's just beautiful i don't know how else to explain it but if you are a power user, if you want to use the laptop for gaming, if you want to do some 4K video editing, then it's horrendous and don't get it. I highly do not recommend it. Stay away from it, uh, especially at this price point. I would say go check out the Ultra, which I did order, so expect a review soon once I receive the Ultra. But for now, this bad boy.
is going back to Samsung.